Well, we lost another one. Another haunted location has been torn down. Well, hello, YouTubers, and welcome to another episode of Our Haunted Travels. I am your host, Sean Donnelly. And I'm your co-host, Marianne Donnelly. Marianne's right. This location no longer exists. Yes, it is wah, literally wah, wah, wah. crushed, crumbled, piles of brick is gone. That's right. We are talking about Panic D number 1325, which was the old Austin Town, Fitch, High School, Middle School, whatever. Yes, it originally started out, I think, as a consolidated school, then it was the high school, then it was the middle school, then it closed, then it was going to be for sale, then it wasn't for sale, then it got sold, then Stop. it didn't get You're sold. Stop! You're giving them the history. Let's so do a happen. real short video, this is going to be real quick, about the history of Austin Town and Austin Town Schools. Austin Town Township was first inhabited by Native Americans. In 1788, it became Range 3, Township 2, of the Connecticut Western Reserve and was named for Calvin Austin, a land agent for the Connecticut Land Company. In 1794, John McCollum was the first settler. In 1820, the population was already 718. By 1880, coal miners and families increased the population to 2,502. After World War II, Austin Town grew tremendously. Throughout its growth, one constant remained, the schools. Moving from 12 one-room schoolhouses to one large consolidated school to eight school buildings the schools remain central to the community and preserve Austin Town's identity. The earliest schools in Austin Town, on Frederick Shively's and Jacob Parkhurst's farm, were subscription schools. Parents paid $1.50 per child per term. In 1825, Ohio required taxpayer-supported public schools in each township. In 1916, the eight operating one-room schoolhouses were consolidated into one building, the Austin Town Centralized School, serving grades one through nine. In January of 1922, the school added grades 10 through 12. And in 1924, the school was renamed Austin Town Fitch School. John H. Fitch was born west of Austin Town Center in 1843. And in 1914, he donated eight of his 400 acres on Mahoning Avenue, west of the center, for a new school. After Fitch's death in 1919, Frank Ole, Fitch's farm manager, circulated petitions to rename Austin Town Centralized School to Austin Town Fitch School and it was renamed so on March 17th of 1924. Additions in 1926, 1946, and 1954 included two gymnasiums, a boiler room, an auditorium, additional classrooms, and a band room. When the current Austin Town Fitch High School building opened in 1968, the building became Austin Town Middle School. The Austin Town Middle School then remained open until the new middle school was built in 2007. In June of 2017, backhoes began the demolition of the building that stood vacant for almost a decade. After several complaints to the Austin Town Zoning Committee and failed sales of the property, it was finally purchased by Mayor Stores Limited Partnership from the school district in January of 2017, with plans to open a 192,000 square foot grocery store on the site. Although the store 
is not planned to be opened until 2021. One of the stipulations of the purchase was that Meyer demolished the almost 100-year-old school building before it became a hazard to those who continued to break in and explore on their own. Okay. Yeah, you're right. It passed hands so many different times. Um, now it doesn't exist. I know. Now it doesn't exist. Uh, actually, I'm going to show you some uh, construction pictures right now of the way that building was tore down. So, demolition? Yeah, some demolition pictures. Um, here they are. Tearing down the building... But we do have a piece of it. We have a piece we of do. it. We do. We do. And I went in it and worked in it for a while. I didn't uh, do any investigation because, again, it was before we started this kind of stuff. Uh, but when I was doing my undergraduate work, uh, doing field work for my education uh, classes, uh, I was actually stationed at Aust it was Austin Town Middle School at the time that I was stationed there. And I was doing uh, some field work in the science wing. And uh, I was there for, I don't know, a whole semester, I think. Uh, but I would go there once a week. Uh, so I was there about 10 or 12 days. Um, and it was full days. So I was there like the whole gamut of the day and had lunch in the teacher's lounge and everything. And I don't want to say it, it felt eerie or anything like that because clearly it was a it was a thriving school you know but you walked in there and you knew you were in a really old building and you knew that things had happened there over the years and it it just kind of wanted to talk to you mm -hmm. and uh, I remember going and walking into the teacher's lounge and it was all this wooden floor and everything and it was just a really old big open room it was really cool um, and then you know of course people talk in the teacher's lounge so I was told about the the apparitions and the what things the that claims? you would find in the in the or, uh, what auditorium were the claims? yeah so now that the building is demolished I don't know what's going to happen to to those apparitions but well, the theory the, is they're gonna be in the new building right the building right but, right anyways so um in any case the the one wing had the auditorium on it and so uh, we didn't actually get to go in there while I was there because that's we didn't what we have, have a piece of is the no, no we have the auditorium. yeah we, we have, have the gymnasium the floor. Gym floor yeah, yeah they were selling it as um, a fundraiser so. but but the it's auditorium they made them into a pen so we yeah we have one if you come to one of our booths at any time um, we usually have that as one of the display items that we have um, but in the auditorium there's uh, there were claims of an apparition. There were claims of, uh, of black masses that would walk across things, um, sounds, but I didn't. We didn't get to investigate. And, and at the time that it was closed down, that the that it wasn't used as a school anymore. They had built a new school, and between that time and the time of the demolition, we'd actually tried yeah, we several tried, times to get in there. We tried a couple times to uh, book the place. We we even told the school that we would make a donation to the school district so we could go in there and investigate and there was well Some, towards the end there uh, we we almost had it booked i mean yeah, everything it was, was like going really close. and then they sold the building and then they said yeah because oh, well, we had to we have can't. special insurance but you know our insurance guy's pretty cool so we we got that lined up and then everything was pretty much set we just didn't have a date set and then they sold the building and, and so we weren't able to go through. in. And then that fell through. And they, and they just, got the building back and right. they tried again. And, and then different, different people board. were in charge. And, yeah, and they said no. Just, you know, and then really before sad. we did. Now, I don't have a date of when we visited this because this is just like it's Austin Town's the next. It's actually a township of Youngstown. So it's really literally. Yeah, we, we drive past it all what, the time. Ten minutes from here, it's across from Walmart. Yeah, so we visited so, there a lot. Uh, um, but several times. I was actually the in there, and I think it was 1998 is when I did my field work in there. So, okay. Um, yeah. So I don't really have a specific date that we could put on this. 
and which is going to make it interesting because of our you know that we've been there type why don't you just put 1998 i was thinking about 1998 or you remember when we put together the scavenger hunt Ooh, yeah and we actually went there and we took pictures and shot pictures inside so I, I didn't find them for this video, Inside through the door. We didn't actually get yeah, we didn't go access. Inside. We didn't gain access yeah. to the building. But uh, maybe I'll look for those pictures and use that kind of date. And okay. You remember when we too. went around yeah, the Mahoney County? Mm-hmm. And, did, and that was one of the places. Okay. That was, That's so. a good idea. So, okay, you went over the uh, paranormal. Why do you think this location would have been haunted? Well, the area that was supposedly the haunted area of the school was the auditorium okay. and keep so going. I, I now i remember why i just don't can't find the story but keep going so a lot of times theater brings people in who want to revisit keep going to that area lots of visitors coming in lots of everyday activity continuing that would bring more energy to the area to allow right. manifestations plus it being a school how many different thousands of people gone through that building and how much energy kids have oh, yeah. <laughs> but i okay i started questioning some people who are long time austin town residents about the building mm-hmm. and why that kind of thing this used to be farmland and somebody told me i think it was deanna i think it was deanna too and she's not with us anymore yeah. unfortunately but i think she told us that there was an accident on that farm on that property where that was built and that could have been the origins of of some of the that mm-hmm. paranormal activity mm-hmm. We, I don't know how we can... She's not available anymore. I know. Did we record that or write that down somewhere? But I remember I her saying that. Mm-hmm. We'll have to research and see who owned that farm and see if there was a death on that farm because I think there yeah. was, and that's what she she told me. And, and here's what we do a lot of times, folks, is we'll try to talk to the locals or somebody who works there or something like that to kind of get a little tidbit of information that can start our research, mm-hmm. okay? We don't like just take everything the way it is we'll use that and now i remember she said there was a farm so we could research the property and see who owned it before it was a school then track back and see if there was a death on that Mm -hmm. that property which would make sense right but uh as far as continued haunting you know Somebody could have brought it in. I mean, you never know. I mean, they're, they're, the reasons why why it kept going was the energy of everything coming through there. But yeah, yeah. Um, so you talked about your personal experiences there, and you just said it kind of felt. It, kind it just of felt like, like it wanted. Building. It was an old building, and it, uh, it you knew it had a lot of history, and it had things Let's to see say. See if we got the data when it was built. But uh, go ahead. And. Uh, that's, I mean, I didn't feel like anybody was watching me. I mean, I was nervous enough, you know. I was dealing with kids, really, for one of the first times where I was going to have to teach them lessons, and I was like, oh. And uh, so I had that enough, and I didn't really pay attention to the rest. But I just remember feeling that, you know, the building was there, it was old, and it had something to say. But, I like I said, I didn't get to go to the auditorium. We didn't have any, you know, shows or or presentations that I had to attend, so I didn't get to go into the actual auditorium while I was there, which is where all the paranormal claims supposedly happen. Yeah, so around 1914 is when that building was built, so it was donated by uh, Austin himself. Actually, donated property. So do you have anything else you would like to add? Just sad, just that, sad it's that it's gone. Yeah, that's pretty much it. But it happens. Yeah. What are they building there? Some sort of store. Is it like a grocery store or something? Mm, I think it's a grocery store. I think it's a grocery store. store. They Making had talked room about for progress. Yeah, it they is, had talked about putting a couple of things there, but I think I do have to say it is grocery. sitting on you know where that was at is prime it is. real estate. It I mean, is right across. It's very high traffic area. Yeah. And Austin Town Plaza, there's BW3s in there. Yeah, there's a lot of cars that go down there. Yeah, actually, that's where they have the Austin Town fireworks. Yeah, didn't they shoot them off on that property? They used to. This year they did not because, because it was under demolition at the demolition. time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, and now I'm sure they probably won't considering the <laughs> it'll be a new, new building. I don't want to like, set no, that on fire. So. But. Uh, so, yeah. Okay. So we'll never get to investigate that one. Well, not until they build a new one and it gets haunted. We'll go to the grocery store at night. 
Yeah, can I get some Maybe milk? Maybe it'll be a 24 hour thing. <laughs> There's yeah. these creepy people walking around with these recorders again taking pictures. All they ever buy is milk. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're going to wrap this one up. Yep. Yep. Short one, but yes. building doesn't exist anymore. Yeah. Okay. So, hey, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, the button is there. Go ahead and click that subscribe button and smash the bell for notifications from... I'm watching you laugh you at get me. So you get so excited about You're that You're supposed bell. to be excited. Yeah, smash the bell geez. for notifications for more, more videos from Panic D videos in the future. So until next time. Thanks for watching. And happy hunting. If you like this video like to see more in the future please be sure to hit the subscribe button and give us a like below also if you have any comments or, or suggestions for our future videos please leave them in the comment section thanks for watching this episode of our haunted travels